While the Ukraine conflict suffocates the world economy, Russia's immediate neighbors are presented with a challenging situation. On the 4th of July 2022, at NATO headquarters in Brussels, Finland and Sweden concluded their admission negotiations. But given that Sweden does not share borders with Russia, why does it feel tempted to join a military alliance so urgently? To understand that, we need to take a closer look at Sweden. Sweden, although being Europe's fifth largest country, is 70% covered in forests, most notably in the Norland region up north. Norland is thought to be home to precious metal deposits. Historically, Stockholm has seen the far north as a place rich in natural resources that should be exploited. The quote, in Norland, we have an India inside our borders. If only we recognize, we should be taking advantage of it. Made by former Lord High Chancellor of Sweden, explains the situation quite well. The northern portions of Sweden are barely mentioned in the country's official history. The central region of the country is known as Svealand, after which the Kingdom of Sweden was named. It is considered to be the historic land of the Swedes. It consists of six provinces and is regarded as the political core of the kingdom. And finally, the most populous of the three core regions, Gotaland, is located further south and is made up of ten provinces. It is thought to be the homeland of the Geats, the people of Beowulf, in England's national epic Beowulf. The core of Sweden is comprised of the area from Gothenburg in the west to the capital Stockholm in the east to Malmo in the south, where the vast majority of the nation's roughly 10 million residents live and work. Modern-day Sweden enjoys substantial business ties with, with its neighbors, the other EU member states being its largest trading partner. Sweden's highly developed export-oriented economy depends on timber, hydropower, and iron ore. These make up the foundational resources of an economy concentrated on international trade. Sweden is a pop culture powerhouse. Considering the size of its economy, Sweden is among the nations that export the most music globally. Like many other European nations, Sweden has benefited greatly from keeping a pro-American attitude and has maintained a favorable relationship with NATO throughout the years. The bulk of their treasury went into creating a highly developed society with an emphasis on health, welfare, and social concerns. Sweden has managed to stay out of major conflicts for many years because of its strategic neutrality and effective use of its own surroundings. To the west, it borders Norway. Between 1397 and 1523, they were both a member of the Kalmar Union, and from 1814 to 1905, they were both a part of a union ruled by the same king. Following the breakup of the union, both nations have maintained strong diplomatic ties since 1905. Another member of the former Kalmar Union lies to the southwest by the Skagerrak Strait, limiting Sweden's ability to reach the North Sea. To the east is Finland, a lengthy history, comparable legislative structures, and a similar economic and social structure all exist between Finland and Sweden. From around 1150 until the Finnish War of 1809, Finland was a part of Sweden for over 700 years. In the Finnish War of 1809, Sweden lost Finland to Russia. Since Finland gained independence from Russia in 1917, the two nations have been close allies, sharing a unique bond of friendship. However, good neighbors are not an indicative of a good neighborhood. 
the Swedish island of Gotland, which is vital to Sweden's national security, is located around 330 kilometers north of the Russian exclave of Kaliningrad, which has a sizable military installation. In the last video, we discussed the geopolitical and strategic objectives of Russia in the Great European Plain. However, it is also crucial to note that Sweden and Finland joining NATO would transform the Baltic Sea into a sea that is dominated by NATO and serve vital geopolitical goals. Imagine what it would mean for Russia if the sea were to be dominated by NATO leaving the Russians exposed to the pressure from NATO. Since most of Russia's essential economic and energy exports pass via this region, the Swedish island of Gotland is known as the Cyprus of the Baltic Sea. Whoever controls it and installs advanced military systems on the island gains the potential to dominate the region's air and naval activities. The major Swedish cities, including the capital Stockholm, are safeguarded by Gotland's sea and air defenses. Geopolitical progressions in the Baltic Sea generally have a bigger impact on Sweden. Stockholm may not have been the intended target, but because both NATO and Russia want to gain control over the island of Gotland, Sweden is concerned that the strategic importance of Gotland will entangle the country in a NATO-Russia conflict without its consent. Sweden, however, has formally sided with NATO and therefore she must be prepared to confront Russia and its military. How does she plan to tackle a nation that is almost 12 times stronger than her? she could follow a couple of strategic models. Finland is an essential component of her strategy and, and part of her defensive plan. Russia and Sweden are separated from each other by Finland. Russia would therefore have to pass via Finland if it ever decided to attack Stockholm. Russia suffered a geopolitical disaster with the fall of the Soviet Union. More than two-thirds of the country's Baltic coastline was lost, effectively isolating the exclave of Kaliningrad from the rest of Russia. During the winter, the St. Petersburg access point freezes completely, making Kaliningrad the Russian Baltic fleet's default headquarters, which is only about 200 miles from Gotland. In a nutshell, the major geopolitical concerns of Sweden are primarily shaped by the activity on and around the island of Gotland. Finally, Sweden needs to strengthen its navy and its air force, as well as increase the size of its army. The Scandinavian nation must acquire more armaments and weaponry for its own army rather than simply relying on NATO for defense. Sweden intends to boost defense spending and recruit more army soldiers. Furthermore, the Swedes are reactivating decommissioned air and naval bases and ordering new ships and submarines. Sweden is a firmly rooted maritime power with naval customs dating back to the Viking era. Even today, Sweden has the largest fleet in the Baltic Sea. With its security in mind, Sweden has decided to shake hands with the West at the expense of dampening relations with its maritime neighbors, Russia. What impact will this decision have on their future? Only time will tell. I've been Sanki. Thank you so much for watching till the end.